Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm of course Big Vale, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to three star with real ghost bats. Okay, so you can see the army comp across the bottom of your screen. It's primarily royal ghosts and bats. That's basically why I call it royal ghost bats. And, well, understandably, that's what we're going with. So, how you break down a base. So, first of all, let's go through the base identification. The main threats to this attack, because you've got to remember, bats are going to be your finishing troop. Royal ghosts, we're basically using to chip away at defenses, create pathing, and ultimately set us up for that OP3 star. So, our main threats are going to be multi-infernos. We've got three of them. Nasty. We've got the wizard towers here, 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 and here. So really well spaced out. Um, air expos as well can be a threat too. So they can shred through bats pretty quickly. So we'll consider them a threat. My gosh, there's a lot of threats in this base. And finally, you've got the town hall and scatter shots. So that's a lot of big threats to this attack. Luckily, luckily it's super, super strong, so you can sort of get around that. So what you're looking to do basically is use your Royal Ghost sort of surgically to try and take out Wizard Towers, and if you can, Multi-Infernos, but if not, then no big deal. I like to take down the Eagle as well, not because I consider it to be a huge threat. It doesn't lock onto bats too easily unless they're one of the remaining troops left on the field. But, you know, if I can take it down, I will. So what we're ultimately looking to do is try and create a path for our log launcher, because that's where the main push comes from with the king, the queen, and the warden. And of course, we've got yetis and a valk in the log launcher. So when that pops, we've got an extra bit of firepower pushing us through. So we're looking to try and create that path so it goes through something like this. That's the path we want to take. So we want to take out as much of the rest of the base as we can, which is actually quite doable. So what I aim to do with my Royal Ghosts, I'm going to show you the attack and I'll talk you through it as we do it. So I'm going to give you a really light run through now. So with the Royal Ghosts, let's go down to the bottom of the screen. We're going to start chipping away at these outside buildings really, really early on in the attack. And that's because we want to try and get access to that Wizard Tower, that Multi Inferno, that was the tower, and ideally the eagle. And of course, we're going to be dropping a couple of royal ghosts, well, more than a couple, a few royal ghosts over at nine o'clock over here to take out this wizard tower. So when all is said and done, we should have taken out probably, probably that part of the base. So with that gone, our path working through here, so we're taking care of all of that, all that you've got left for your bats is, and your RC actually, Bats and your RC, is this area here. So that's all you've got left for your Bats and your RC. And honestly, it's actually really, really simple. I know I'm oversimplifying the explanation here, but I just want to show you the attack and then, yeah, you can make up your own, own mind as we go along. So we start off with the Royal Ghost chipping away at the outside buildings. So that's a load of trash. It's not the most efficient way of doing it. So I'm not claiming that it is, and if you're doing this in a war hit, then maybe you might want to substitute the Royal Ghost for something else. Ah, you're cool, you're cool. So you'll notice I've got a couple of Valks in this army comp, and you'll see very soon why I've got them. You can see skeletons spot, uh, popping up. Now that ground meta has become a thing again, air isn't the only thing that people attack with. We're using the Valks to take care of the skellies. So we've got an archer over at three, pulling the skeletons over. We've got a Valk finishing them off. And job done. You have to remember, Royal Ghost doesn't do splash damage. So the fact that um, skeletons are popping up on the ground could be a problem if you're not ready for it. So Eagle goes down. We've got the Multi Inferno taken care of. We're, we're doing good things here, guys. Eagle, well, it's going to go down. It will, I promise you. So we're using a few more Royal Ghosts to create the pathing or finish the pathing off over at 2 o'clock. Wall break in. And the reason why we do a wall break with the Log Launcher, guys, is... If you don't do that wall break, you are going to risk your troops walking around the outside rather than taking that already open path. Now, I know the log launcher will open it up eventually, but you want everything moving in ahead of the log launcher. Okay, so play again. We've got the queen taking out the final building on the outside. I'm holding on to my king as well. I'm going to pause it here again. So if I didn't hold on to my king here, 
and I just dropped him in early, which I would normally do, he would have gone in, cleared out everything in that compartment, and then walked right back out again, and he'd end up looping around and clearing out the outside, which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but I really wanted his firepower working through the core. Okay, so we're pushing on through the RC. He's going to go down to my king and queen. We've got the log launcher. It's opened up the next layer of walls. So next compartment's open. We've got our, not our final two. We've got two of our final three royal ghosts moving in towards the expo. Expo's going to go down. So early tome as well is something that you want to do with this attack. You want to do it because you need that log launcher to not take any damage. If the log launcher's taking damage, you will likely be in some trouble. So we've got the RC coming in just to try and clean up a little bit. I was hoping to try and take out the Scattershot and the Multi Inferno. So as you can see, Scattershot does go down. Multi Inferno targeted next, mission accomplished. Town Hall's gone down to the King. So our main push worked its way from four right through to the top side of the base and took it all out. Beautiful, beautiful. So we've got um, actually a few swag spells here. Well, not really a few. We, we didn't really need that Rage. I'm calling that Swag Spell. So that Rage is a Swag Spell. We've got a Freeze left over that we don't really need. And the base is crushed. So that was in about 2 minutes 40. So one piece of advice that I'll give to you is keep an eye on the clock. If you haven't got your bats in by the time there's about a minute left, you're probably going to struggle a little bit. Sometimes different situations will come up where you can get away with it. But I've found that if my bats aren't in by a minute, 50 seconds left on the clock, I typically time fail. And I've had a lot of time fails practicing this and fine tuning the attack so I could show you how to do it properly. So trust me, trust me, it's from experience. Now let's get into the next replay where I'll show you a different base. So this one came from my legend hits earlier in the day, and this one's a teaser base. So rather than drawing out a whole map of how I took it down, it's a legend hit, so I'm just going to talk through it as it happens. And I will pause periodically because there's something different about teaser bases that make this attack even stronger. And you're about to see it any second now. So we started off over at 9 o'clock just chipping away at some of the buildings. I, I didn't get as much value as I'd hoped I would, but here's where the money is, guys. So we're using our Royal Ghost to take out everything on the teaser side, everything on the Town Hall side. And just an FYI, all it takes is two Royal Ghosts to take out a Town Hall. That's all it takes. So we've cleared out the heroes, the King's about to go down, and he's gone. So we've got Royal Ghosts on the Scatter and the Expo, they're going to go down too eventually. we found a Nado, I mean I should have seen that coming, I should have seen it to be fair. I'm not sure why the Nado's there actually. Actually, now that I think about it, wouldn't the Nado behind the Town Hall have been more sensible? I don't know, whatever. Whatever, either way. Town Hall's going down, bottom scatter shot goes down, and the top one and Expo will go down next. We've got Royal Ghost moving in. I used that haste, not because I needed to, but when else was I going to use it? Might as well. Okay, so... Everything on the right side's gone, so the main threats are taken care of. We still have a log launcher, we've still got quite a few royal ghosts, we've got six left to drop in and we've still got some in play. We've got our golem down, our ice golem, a log launcher moving through. Now in hindsight, I feel like I probably could have dropped the log launcher a little bit higher up. The reason why I chose to drop it so low down, honestly, it was more of a spur of the moment thing, but also because I find it easier starting my funnel in from an edge so starting it from in from the six o'clock side it just means it's easier to path did i get as much value as i could have done absolutely not absolutely not but you know what i'm not too bothered because it was a three star so we're chewing up the bottom side we've got the rc that's going to move in now so that's moving in towards the core we've got our bat spells that are going to be used exclusively on the top side so you can see what we're doing here we're basically chewing up the entire base from the bottom to the top. We've got the RC taking out that single, the Eagle goes down, the RC still has ability, Queen Star's ability, and we drop a Bat Bomb with a Rage on top of that Inferno and Wizard Tower compartments, and everything in there goes down. So we're not swagging anything here. You know, it's not, it's not an overly swaggy attack. Can be, but on this occasion it isn't. But we did wipe the base out. Now this one was a little bit tighter on time than the first one, but... Um, I suppose that's really a lesson that you can learn from this. You need to make sure that you're actually making your main push 
as early as possible. So I aim for about a minute and 40, a minute and 50 seconds roughly to start my main push. That's after I've refined it a little bit. Um, in this example, I left it a little bit too late and nearly paid the price, but it worked out. Taking out the town hall with Royal Ghosts, really efficient way of doing it. And it just means that you haven't got that nasty threat of a town hall with its Giga Inferno to deal with right at the back end of the attack. So let's get into a live one now and let's see if we can put this into effect live on this video. Okay, in with my final legend hit of the day. Wish me luck. Okay, let's look around the base. So, town hall on the top side. Okay, okay, that's an option. We've got one multi over at three. Down at six, we've got an easy access wizard tower. Okay, okay. I like it. Might use a baby dragon down there, yeah. Let's go baby dragon. Let's start a wizard, not a wizard, a royal ghost up at 12. I'm going to try and get the town hall taken care of with these royal ghosts. It it seems to work on teaser bases. This isn't quite a teaser base, but it's not far off. So we're getting our royal ghost placed in pretty precisely. We're, we're looking to take out key structures here, basically trying to build that path into the town hall. And I think I could do with that builder hook going down, really. Uh, okay, we should get it. We've got Royal Ghosts moving in. We've got three of them. Town Hall's going to go. Okay, so we're going to create a path here. We want that multi down. Let's try and get some ghosts in there. Okay. Looking good. Ghosts are moving in. Uh, that bomb tower could be an issue. Problem is, Royal Ghosts are really squishy. So if a bomb tower blows, you'll watch here. It'll die. Boom. Gone. Okay, so we are getting to the multi-inferno now. We're getting closer. We've still got seven royal ghosts left. And yeah, we should be good. I think multi's going to go down here. Should do. Should do. Okay, let's go. Let's go for the push. So town hall's already gone. The multi is already gone. Now we can just start moving on through with our king, our queen, our warden, our log launcher. We're going to hold our RC for the moment. We're going to use that to help clean up some of the defenses just to make the bats a little bit easier. So we're pushing in. We are pushing in nicely. We've got a Valk that I sent in. I had a spare Valk. So Valk did a little bit. It's done some damage. King is moving in, taking out the single. Good, 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 good. So we've got more RGs moving in from two. Haste them in. And the RC coming in from one. All right, we're actually doing a really good job of chipping away at this base here. The queen is going to go down. Beautiful. The eagle should go down next. Log launcher pops. Okay. Okay. This is looking amazing, guys. So we're bat bombing the scatter. Um, only one wizard tower left, I think. So let's rage over there. Freeze. Oh, my God. How many spells do we have left? Oh, my God. This is like ultimate swag. This is ultimate swag. We've still got 36 seconds left. So plenty of time to get the job done here. We have the Queen ability. RC ability is already gone. We've got Bats doing cleanup now. RC is still up. We've got two Freezes and Invis and the Poison. Let's put them down in the middle just to show off a little bit. And that's how good that attack is, guys. That's how strong the attack is. So, so good. So powerful. And it's really that easy. The only obstacle to three-starring with this attack is time management. As long as your time management's there... And you'll get a feel for this the more you do it. So I'd recommend doing it in friendly challenges before you take it into a Legends Day or any important war attacks. But time management is key. If you can manage your time, you will never fail with this attack. I mean, I failed quite a few times today while well, I've been fine-tuning it, but every single one of them has been a time fail. It's been like 91, 92, 95, 99. <laughs> that hurt. But um, yeah. Trust me, guys, this is something that while the troops are here, you want to give it a try. Because if nothing else, it will definitely give your attacking abilities a short-term boost. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to smash the like button. Also, drop a comment to let me know how you get on with this attack. I'm genuinely curious to know if you guys had the same initial issues with time that I had or if you're just crushing it. If anyone gets a perfect day with this, please do send me a screenshot. Who knows, maybe I'll come over to your clan and do a video on it. And of course, guys, if you don't already subscribe to the channel, 
please do so and turn on notifications to be made aware when I go live or when I post videos in the future. I do one or the other every single day so there's always fresh content on the channel. Until next time, much love, Big Veil is out.